What's up now, people? This right here is a Philadelphia 12-year-old boy killed. Now, he was shot in the head and threw in a dumpster. His name, his first name was Hezekiah. That's a strong name. And they, uh, for his nickname, they called him Hezzy. Yeah, they say he was a stand-up little dude. You know what I'm saying? Stand-up young man. You feel me? Um, very sad and unfortunate. Uh, this happened to him. That's the way he goes out. Somebody shoots him in the head at 12 years old and, and dumps his body in a dumpster. And the trash man had found him. Ain't that crazy? Sad, people. Rest in peace to Hezekiah. Now, we got a new COVID variant detected in New York City sewage. I was talking about this the other day. It's very important, though, people, because, you know, yeah. Like they say, it's a health alert, right? And it's, it basically, it's going to be more people dying, man. Whoever got uh, them, them low uh, immune systems and stuff like that, especially, especially if your immune system is already weak, you know. They talking about this, the newest COVID variant detected in New York City sewage. It, it's, it's ridiculous, people. Doctors seeing rise in COVID over respiratory viruses other respiratory viruses in New York City. You know what I'm saying? 594 COVID cases in New York City right now. Now they saying doctors seeing a rise in the COVID cases. Other respiratory viruses. Like how many viruses that's attacking the respiratory and the immune system until people wake up that, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you got to start taking your, uh, you know, your damn herbal herbal supplements and things of that nature, people. Alright? You gotta do your research on trying to keep your immune system uh on the rise, especially if you like me and don't want to take no, you know, no jab. I've never taken one and you know, thank God, you know what I'm saying? I don't get sick like that. So you still so even though if you're a person that don't get sick like that, you still wanna practice taking good putting good things into your body so you don't get these new variants that they fucking talking about, all right? Keep your eyes on that, people. White House staffers to assist with New York City migrants getting work permits, and that's it. Now, shit. They, they, look, look. They getting work p permits, you know, uh, so they can go out here and take the jobs that we don't want. You feel me? Um... And they putting them all in stadiums and they and they swearing them all in at one damn time. And, you know, it, shit, is that easy? You know, to be American, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, though. I mean, look at these people, man. Not only did they come over here like, like the way they did, you know, unofficial until further notice type shit. They taking, you know, we got people that's on, uh, that's, you know, homeless out here. But but if if we see our homeless people gathered up like this, oh, they be ready to put their ass in jail. But but I guess it's cool for them to just, you know, hang out like that, waiting on their free ride. You feel me? If you can do this for people, <laughs> for these migrants, man, you can damn sure do this for the American people that's living just like this and been doing this for years, for years, sleeping on the damn concrete. We got a drug epidemic in this motherfucker. We, they shouldn't want nobody in this motherfucker that ain't official. You see what I'm talking about? We trying to crack down on God dog on me drugs. Shit. It, it's ridiculous, people. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And I tell you another damn thing. The damn... They were sending them migrants cool-off buses where the whole bus is like a, a air conditioner. You know what I'm saying? built like something like a school bus so i'm thinking damn but i've been seeing all these school buses these children complaining about it's hot as hell on that bus why they can't do that for the damn school people 
You see what I'm saying? For these students, these children. But they'll do it for them. Man, that shit, asshole backwards, all right? Now, that damn storm, people. All right? I mean, uprooted the damn sidewalk, all right? That's a big-ass tree, man. Now, this right here, if you can see, like, this little... These are lights right here from a car. It blew. Like, they driving. The storm was so was so damn strong that it picked that car up and hit that car. And when it hit that car, it, it blew up, all right? And this is how it looks before it hit that car. It's just, it man, took it right on up, blew it right into this car. And that's how you get your flames that have blew up, people. That shit is crazy. Look at this shit. The aftermath, people. All right, power lines down, all type of shit. Adelia slammed through Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. So I hope, if you watch my channel and you're from the areas, I hope that you are safe. Six new member states added to BRICS. Amen. Amen. That speaks for itself right there. But I'll come back to it. Now. Look at this. What that storm did. I'm talking about, look, G Street. You know what I'm talking about? Look at the stop sign. Now, we all know how tall stop signs be, man. That damn water all the way up to the stop sign. All right? All the way up to the stop sign, people. Florida officials concerned about King Tide. You know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. Yep. They reported with this big-ass tree. That's that same tree that, that up, uprooted that concrete damn sidewalk now this right here is crazy millions of bees accidentally accidentally released in canadian town and they telling people oh yeah just just drive with your windows up it's gonna be all right that is crazy now how does millions of bees accidentally be released like are you okay we we, we that stupid right and, and what the hell y'all didn't did to the bees you feel me now Storm surge floods Citrus County. Citrus County faces months of recovery after severe flooding. I ain't from my Delia. That's crazy. That's, oh my goodness, you know. Ridiculous, people. We in them times. Two tornadoes touched down in Southern Glen County after Adelia. Now, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn. They had an EF-0 and an EF-1 after I, after the uh uh, the hurricane they had then comes back to back two tornadoes in southern Glen County. Boy, that's strange weather, boy. They, I don't know if it's a uh, if that's God or or if it's man made and it's harp H A R R P. You know what I'm saying? The weather manipulator. I ain't now. This is saying we are long past ready for an impeachment inquiry. They trying to impeach your boy. Uh, Sleepy Joe, Joe Biden. All right, nah. They discussing the Biden business dealings, uh, uh, averting a government shutdown in New York City's migrant crisis. So when they was talking about this in their little sessions, uh, Representative Jeff Van Drew uh, discusses the Biden business dealings because they wanted they they say, hey man, he need to be impeached. Uh, and they talking about government shutdown. That ain't never good to hear about that. And they talking about the New York City's migrant crisis, people. We just got too much shit going on, I ain't. And this is the guy that's, uh, talking about these things right here with his ugly ass. And they talking about impeaching Sleepy Joe Biden. The hair sniffer, people. Now, insurance pulling out of California. Do they know something? Now, see, right here, people, they are saying that insurance companies like State Farm and all these big-ass insurance companies are pulling out of California. They're not wanting to give people uh, any house insurance. Why do you think that is? 
Now, they are saying California is overdue for something. They're saying they're trying to make an excuse and saying, oh, it's because of the wildfires. But even then, why would you take somebody insurance or why would you not give people insurance on their homes? Because it could be destroyed and what they going to do, right? So this is another funny thing, right? California has this evacuation place for the whole city, right? Um, and whatnot. And, um, you know, this particular part of California, right? And, uh, it's 120 feet in the air, in height, you see. And they changed it to something else. I guess they trying to find another spot, you know what? Higher than 120 feet. Because they said when a tsunami come through that bitch, it's definitely... Understand me now, it's going to be definitely over 120 feet. Wow. Wow. And insurance companies, they don't want to pay off that money because it's going to be bad, bad. Now, if they, now if you got insurance companies t taking their companies out of California, they say, y'all just fuck. You better get out. You better get out too. You see what I'm saying? So they should, huh, they trying to tell people that it's going to be a tsunami. Now, whenever it comes, you better be ready if your ass still here. You might not make it. Because hundred and over 120 feet of tsunami wave water, man, it's going to wipe that whole area out. Whatever part they talking about, it's going to be gone. You see? It's going to be doggone me gone. So people need to start, uh, if you in those areas, you need to start doing your research on shit like that. Because I'm telling you, they didn't took these major ass companies out of California and the third party ones that you probably never heard about and shit like that that'll still be there to help out they they uh insurance rates are gonna be super high huh and people are not gonna be able to afford it anyway you see so that's what you call the cleanup crew after the big ones gone the popular ones gone then they then the little the little minions come in and they try to get some of your money double your money because you know you be desperate uh-uh we ain't got time for that people so uh yeah that's something to do your little uh due diligence on uh research on that that, that that's hella strange people because they feel like yeah california california finna, finna get it because uh it even said that on the picture as far as um you know, do they know something that we don't? Hell yeah, they know something. They know to get their ass up out of here because they, they ain't trying to pay nobody all that money because it's going to be too many people they got to pay. Okay, people. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get the point now. Emergency. COVID-19 hospitals hospitalization spike in Philadelphia. All right, now. New York is spiking up. Philly is spiking up. Now, every time they say that shit, guess what? Now, we got to go back to the mask. Now, people going to be dying again. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, people. All right? Getting sick and shit. All right? Gun conf confiscated at East Coetta High School. All right? They received an anonymous tip at 11.45 a.m. Gun taken without incident. No threat to campus. But it's the principle, though. We keep, you know, they keep, hey, this is about like the third gun situation I didn't heard at a, at a high school, at a college, you know, in the last week. So it's, it's terrible. Now, when I was talking about Hezekiah, the very first person I showed on here, the young boy that was 12, little Hezzy. Boy's body found in trash can, people. Uh, Boy 12, found dead in trash can, had been shot. You know, rest in peace to Hezekiah, man. Whoever did that, man, I hope y'all is burning fucking hell, all right? Now, extremely dangerous man convicted of murder escape, escapes from Pensa Pennsylvania uh, prison. Now, <laughs> they said extremely dangerous. Now, tell me, people. Tell me how an uh, extremely dangerous, huh? From 1 to 10, he's a motherfucking 11. He's extremely dangerous, people. How does he escape from Pennsylvania? Penitentiary or whatever had you. How does he escape out of the law's hands? <laughs> These some sick motherfuckers, man. Extremely dangerous man convicted of murder escapes from Pennsylvania prison. 
I hope they found his ass. I seen that shit yesterday. It happened yesterday, actually. Um, look at all this water again. This is some pictures of the storm, the aftermath of this damn storm, people. You see, it's just, it's ridiculous. They don't have all type of bacteria and bullshit going on after that water clears. I mean, just splitting buildings in two, everything, you know. Now we got, now, like I was saying, six countries to join BRICS by January 1st, 2024, people. This is hella important. Divorcing the West. Huh? Saudi Arabia. UAE, Ethiopia, Egypt, Argentina, and Iran added to BRICS. Yeah, they are divorcing the, the West, which is us, all right? Yeah, buddy, it says, Ondero uh, Oganga. Okay, anyway, they are reporting on the new members added to BRICS. The new relationship creates an issue for the West as Saudi Arabia is an OPEC member, OPEC, and oil rich, all right? This is ridiculous. I mean, six more countries to join BRICS by January 1st, 2024. See, they put out this application. They was calling it an application for these other countries to, you know, follow suit. And they are saying, okay, this has to happen. If you're going to be with us, you have to make up your mind by what? January 1st, 2024. I'm pretty sure I'm going to come back before January first 2024 and i'm gonna be reporting that some more countries have added on to that list i guarantee you. all right we fucked now uh see damn that that, that is that is crazy all right <laughs> now massive fire erupts at marathon petroleum refinery in louisiana look at this shit it's ridiculous that is ridiculous, all right? Yeah, and they had all type of toxic shit coming out of that, uh, from that area. I'm pretty sure they had people evacuating if you was close to that, to that refinery and everything. Um, it's not the whole refinery, as you can see. It's parts over here, but, uh, you know, they deal with petroleum, you know, gas, you know, and, and oil and things of that nature. So, this shit, this part of this motherfucker right here, though, that, that, that is extremely wild as hell so yeah i mean it's, it's it's been a lot of fires with these refineries too it's just ridiculous people so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the old comment page you know what i'm saying y'all might want to do y'all research if you did not know about these topics that i went over all right message